from the sign, the treat sign you can see. It's called uh, George Street uh, uh, Heartbreak. Uh, I'm sick with room and uh, aches and a congestion of the lungs. I cough constantly. Insomnia stains my eyes like charcoal. And for the first time in my life, I actually look older than my real age. Years ago, when I was a child, I read auguries in the snarled pattern of clouds and practiced divination of how snow accumulated to subtle difference of height on the post rail surrounding the corral. I watched the frozen breath of horses looking for some hope of bliss but abstracted, solely gloom and heartbreak. Today, desperate and preoccupied, I try to pick out the future from the way antenna wire twists against the white walls and falls up and down along the molding in my bedroom. All omens promise bad luck. My mind has fallen into moat and bad mood has dungeoned me. I keep to the apartment all day, flipping over playing cards, looking for my destiny every time a queen of heart appears from the deck. It's going okay tonight, not too bad. Stanley, you shouldn't be wearing that stick pin. Opals are always considered unlucky. My luck isn't very good as it is. I don't think me wearing an opal changes the outcome of my life that much. No eulogy for this affair of heart. No photographs left for me to remember us. I see no people down the street to witness me drive off in my Ford along. Rain and cold, happy couples walk the avenues, huddling clothes, tight one to another. I guess this is closest we will ever get to a biography of us. I have to wonder if this whole fantastic romance I once imagined amounts to no more now than a footnote in this big book of my own. Your name has been deleted from the speed dial. It has vanished from my computer screen. No children will be named for us. Not that you wanted it anyhow, the children being named after either you or me. No admission will ever be charged for entrance to the home where we once lived, spoke ardently of love one for the other, and I tempted verse to celebrate us for the ages. And despite all the noise coming from the street, all the appointments I have to keep this evening, I can only lie on the floor, look to the ceiling, the light is going out of my eyes.